Hey everybody, it's Steve. And if you control your DMX lights and lasers with a computer, then look at this little thing that can trigger all of your scenes from different apps. And you can see right on the button itself what cue it's going to call up before you press it. And in this video, I want to first unbox one, then be clear on what this is and what it isn't, show how to make your own custom icons, and then how to program it to control your rig with buttons that you can really be sure will trigger the right scene. Okay, let's see what's in the box. You get these stickers, looks like for customizing the background. There's a plastic stand. USB cable, quick start guide, and there's the unit. Elgato makes a whole line of Stream Deck products that are designed to make it easy with one touch of a button to control anything on your computer. This isn't one of those devices. This thing is called a Stream Dock MT Vicky, which is basically the same thing at a bit more of a budget price. You attach it to your computer with a USB cable, download and install the software, and then you use the software to program different actions like opening apps and folders, switching scenes in OBS, choosing actions in Photoshop, all cool stuff. So why not use it for your lighting rig? Well, most software DMX controllers will let you assign keystrokes to actions in the app. And the Stream Dock buttons can send keystrokes. So let's get this thing set up. Here's the app My DMX3 as an example with lots of different scenes that are programmed. So let's take the red pars and assign the keyboard key Q. And for the blue pars, we'll assign the W key. And once those are set up, the keys on the computer trigger the scenes. Okay, let's open up the Stream Dock app. And you can see there's already a bunch of buttons already assigned to it, but we're going to go in and we're going to create a new scene. And every scene, including this light show, can have six pages of 15 buttons. You go to the first button, you go to the toolbox, and we're going to drag this hotkey to the button. And then we click this button to assign the hotkey. Let's hit the Q. And we'll go to the second button, drag hotkey, and we'll assign the W to that. And now we're almost done. This is an image editing software on the Mac called Pixelmator. I created a 128 by 128 pixel image and then just created real simple graphics to kind of represent the scenes in my show. I use circles for the pars, bars for my bar lights. Then I exported these as JPEGs. And then in the Stream Dock app, you can assign each one of these images to a button. Pick the red par. And now the stream dock is triggering the scenes. I use another app called Laser OS to control my laser cube, and it also lets you assign computer keys to trigger patterns. I'm going to assign Z, and I'm going to go to Bubbles and assign X for that. And then for my icons, I'm going to do a frame grab of each one of these little icons that are actually in the app. Now I'm going to go into these buttons and I'm going to assign a hotkey for this. We'll make that the atomic icon that I screen grabbed, and you can recrop it 
in the app to get it just the way that you want. Now we've got that. Let's assign this hotkey. Okay, and now when we go here, we can see that these keys are going to select those patterns. Now, once I got into this, I realized there's actually one more thing you have to do to make this work if you've got more than one app. Each app has to be in the foreground in order for the key commands to work. So to show you how to make this work, we'll actually go in and delete this one and start over. You have to use something in the operation flow menu called an action flow. So you drag this to the button, but now we're going to go to what these two items are. We're going to drag open, and then we're going to go to the app that we want to open, which is going to be Laser OS. And then we're going to drag after that the event of the hotkey. And go back to the button. We'll go ahead and select the icon again. And now you can see that this button is going to select the pattern atomic. Even if my DMX3 is open, it's going to go to the Laser OS app and it's going to select atomic. So now I've got all the buttons programmed. The button is going to call up the app and it's going to pick the pattern in the app or the scene in the app. And it really works very well. Okay, now for some extra credit. What if you want to use this thing to record a light show on a timeline using MIDI? Well, you can record your button pushes as MIDI using an app called Bohm MIDI Translator. And there's a free demo version that will run for 20 minutes. And here it is set up to recognize the button pushes as keystrokes and then translate them into MIDI. And here's an example of Logic Pro recording a MIDI sequence from the stream dock in order to program a synchronized light show. If you sometimes wonder which button on your controller or key on your keyboard is going to trigger a certain scene, then this thing can really help. Plus, it can do a bunch of other things that might help you with your workflow. And you can pick one up for under $100 on Amazon at the link below. I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas for making your light show even better. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.